Makes the first man miss. Makes him miss twice. Malik Willis is a magician. To be able to step up and escape, looking like Michael Vick right there. Look at that. And dropping it right into the honey hole right there. I mean, that is what's got the NFL scouts drooling. While the quarterbacks in the 2022 NFL Draft may present as many questions as answers, one thing is certain. Malik Willis' upside is just too significant to ignore. Willis can whistle a throw down the field that will make your jaw drop on one play, then improvise and weave his way through a defense with his legs on the next. When he was at his best in college, defenses were overmatched, left looking for answers as he dazzled. The soon-to-be 23-year-old stands just a bit over six feet tall, and there were games during his final season at Liberty where he tried to make too much out of nothing. But with coaching, NFL teammates, and a little bit of patience, Willis has a chance to emerge as the best signal caller in this year's draft. We're going to start here with a throw that not only shows off Malik Willis' playmaking, but also his arm strength and his accuracy and his confidence. Circumstances here, first and 10 from his own 21. So no pressure here. They're up by two touchdowns still in the first half. But watch Malik Willis and the way he's able to navigate a little bit of pressure early. Steps to his left. And I want you to look at where Malik Willis' feet are. When he makes this throw down the field, and by the way, I want you to have your eyes on this Liberty wide receiver and these two Middle Tennessee defensive players because this becomes a double-covered throw from Malik Willis, and yet he says, you know something, I still have a window there. See his right foot basically catapulting off the ground. I mean, and the fact that that ball is basically perfectly placed, you'll have better appreciation for it on this second look. Again, you watch the feet of Malik Willis right here. Just look at this right here. I mean, his feet are, when he actually throws the ball, right leg is like a foot and a half off the ground. So much for a quarterback having to plant his feet and drive towards a target of the football. Now, I'm not saying these are the most advised mechanics that Malik Willis is ever going to have or ever has had on his game tape, but the fact that he can do this, working backwards, sort of throwing opposite of where his momentum is taking him to maintain vision up the field. A really special play here from Malik Willis. And again, the throw is just ridiculous as you see it. Perfectly placed right here. You got two defensive players. You've got one wide receiver and this ball lands. Just a beautiful target there. Now, next play here from Malik Willis. Also a really fun one. So second and five and watch the innovation. Not so many quarterbacks have the ability to win on just first, but also second reaction plays. And sometimes you can play great defense. You can do exactly what you're supposed to do, and yet there's no answer because the quarterback is just superior. So just watch Malik Willis innovate here again. A little bit of pressure coming off of the edge. So first thing he does, avoid this guy right here. And this is pretty unique to get out of this path, sort of work his way this way. And then watch this. Starts to, again, break that tackle. And then here, he maintains his vision down the field. He's able to see the passing lanes. All right, I have this guy right here. He's covered. This guy right here, he's covered. But do I have an angle on this defensive player right here? Yes, I do. And then the touch. Watch this. He's got a window. No doubt this receiver is open. But if Malik Willis hits him in stride, he could be off to the races. If not, this is a big play, a chunk play, no doubt, but not necessarily a scoring play. And Malik Willis on the run, hits his wide receiver, a perfect play, gets them deep into the red zone. Really special play here. And while I don't necessarily love when a quarterback is moving the football back and forth between his arms uh, in the course of a same play, like pretty nifty ball handling skills to go right arm, left arm, and back to the right arm. Good ball control there. And again, just sort of flicks the wrist. What Malik Willis is able to do in these unscripted second reaction plays makes him such a difficult player to bring down. But how about when the plays go right as you would like them to? You got a wide receiver here, and he can see, all right, got a defensive back right here. What's that telling you? Press coverage, man coverage. If you're making this throw, you got to do a couple things here. One, you got to give your receiver a chance by using leverage to your advantage. You want to throw this ball to the outside shoulder, but you also have to make sure you're not throwing the football out of bounds. You see that all the time from quarterbacks, especially young ones. They try to put the ball too perfectly. Next thing you know, the receiver may catch it, a yard and a half out of bounds. This is the touch that I think makes Malik Willis so fun to watch. Look at this ball. Exactly where he needs it to be. Just a picture-perfect throw for a touchdown right there. And then I think one of the plays that might be the signature of Malik Willis' time at Liberty. Circumstances here. I want you to just take a look quickly. You've got 33, 
28. They have the lead. Okay, that part is good. Third and seven, fourth quarter, nine minutes to go. Got to have a type of play. If you don't pick up this first down, you're punting the ball and you're risking the possibility of falling behind in the fourth quarter. So let's run it right here. Malik Willis, of course, out of shotgun. A lot of his work was out of shotgun during his college days. All right, you got pressure immediately. You've got it picked up for a second here, but you can already start to see this defensive player. He's uncovering. You know, this penetrator is getting a little bit of movement off these guys as well. You've got a, the possibility of a play breaking down in a hurry. Now, there's a balance when you're a good athlete like Malik Willis. You know you can buy yourself time, but you have to know, when is the time to buy myself time to throw and buy myself time to run? Well, Malik Willis quickly realized as he breaks his way outside of all this contain, I'm going to run and then watch this play right here once more. Just watch this defensive player who tries to tackle Malik Willis in the open field. Now, he's already picked up the first down. That part is good right there, but this play is going to be a first down right here. All right, you've got... I've got one, two, three defensive players right here. One, two, three. Those guys should be able to bring Malik Willis down somewhere past the first down marker, but not that much past the first down marker. Instead, what happens? Bam! He bounces off that defensive lineman like a battering ram and keeps going all the way down the field. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, again, Liberty set up deep in the red zone. The athletic ability of Malik Willis showed up. And it's not just athletic ability on plays in which he's going to buy time to throw plays in which he buys time to run. Such a special athlete. More so than any other recent draft class, there is no consensus amongst evaluators as to which quarterback is the best. But for a team willing to put in the work to untap the upside, Malik Willis could well offer as much as any other quarterback in 2022.